KwaZulu-Natal Premier Sihle Zikalala and the Provincial Executive Committee are today visiting the home of the late Dr. Frank Mdlalose. Mdlalose was the first democratically elected KZN Premier. He died on Saturday from COVID-19 related complications aged 89. Tributes have been pouring in for the late stalwart. Our reporter Tuba Valani is in Newcastle and joins us live. Tuba, uh, has the Premier arrived with his delegation at the home of the late Dr. Frank Mdlalose? Yes, uh, the Premier has arrived here. We're just outside the house of the former Premier of the province of Wazulu Natal. A few minutes ago, we just saw the Premier, Sikhez Galala, uh, together with uh, his MEC. I saw the MEC for cooperative governance and traditional affairs in the province, MEC Siposho Muga. I saw Tlengi uh, Wema Vimbela, who is arts, sports, arts and culture. I saw Ravi Pillay. Those are MECs that accompany the Premier. We understand that uh, they just walk in into the house uh, to pay their respect to the former premier of the province of Wazul Natal. They're going to have a short prayer in the house and then after that, that's only when we expect the premier that he will be able to talk to us. But beside that, we know that um, many speakers and many political leaders have been issuing their messages of um, condolences to Madlala family and describing the late former premier as a man behind unity and peace in the province of Wazul Natal. As you will remember that he was the premier, the first premier in 1994 and, and he led during the transition, as you will remember that the province of Wazul Natal uh, at that time was at the height of, 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 of political violence. So he led at that time and he contributed and he played an immense role in ensuring that there is peace and stability in this province. And we understand that later on around um, uh, 1998. He was then appointed as an ambassador to, to Egypt, um, the position that he served um, until 2005 when he retired in active politics. Chiba, we believe uh, that uh, Dr. Frank Mdlalose leaves behind a daughter um, and that his wife is still in hospital uh, fighting the coronavirus. Can you tell us a little bit more? The statement that was issued by his party, the IFP, um, on his passing on Saturday, they did say that the wife is still in hospital and they confirmed that the late Premier also succumbed to COVID-19. We understand that up to now uh, we haven't received any updates in regards to the wife, but we still believe that the wife is still in hospital. But the daughter, um, I know that some have reported that the daughter was also not well, but we've confirmed that the daughter is actually okay. She's um, here at home. She's not, um, uh, uh, she did not contract the virus. So um, that's what we know for now. And another thing that we're expecting is that maybe when the Premier walks out from the house, they will then be able to share with us maybe when will be the funeral. Thank you very much, Tubavalani. We'll touch base with you once we hear from Premier Sitle Zekalada. Tubavalani coming to us from Newcastle in KZN.